Thank you all for being here today. I'm Sheriff Dan H. Rogers of the Gifford County Sheriff's Office. I have an important update regarding the homicide investigation of DeAndre Overton. I would like to extend my thoughts and prayers to his family and friends. I hope to provide some closure and allow them to bring the healing, the healing process as well as continue to speak or seek justice for their son. I'm now going to pass this information over or the press conference over to Sergeant Wright and he can actually lead us to the rest of it. Good morning, everybody. As mentioned, I'm Sergeant Wright with the Major Crimes Investigative Unit, the Sheriff's Office. First and foremost, I would like to extend my thoughts and prayers to DeAndre Overton and his family. This was a senseless and reckless event that did not even have to happen. On September 7, 2024, at approximately 2.30 in the morning, deputies responded to 3205 Spring Mill Road in Greensboro, North Carolina for an initial loud party call. Shortly before deputies arrived, another call was received that a shooting had just taken place. When deputies entered the residence, they located DeAndre Overton suffering from a gunshot wound. Emergency aid was provided on scene, but unfortunately DeAndre succumbed to his injuries. Detectives with the Major Crimes Investigative Unit began their investigation into the homicide, which continues to this day. On October 6, 2024, detectives obtained a warrant for, for arrest for 20-year-old Jeremiah Diego Blanks for first-degree murder. With the assistance of the U.S. Marshal's Office and the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation, detectives were able to determine that Jeremiah Blanks was in and around the area of Detroit, Michigan. On October 7, 2024, Detective Master Corporal John Robertson, Detective Josh Allen, traveled to Detroit, Michigan to work with the U.S. Marshal's Office to locate and apprehend Jeremiah Blanks. On October 8, 2024, the U.S. Marshal's Task Force took Jeremiah Blanks into custody. He was subsequently transported to the Oakland County Jail in Pontiac, Michigan. He remains in custody in that jail pending extradition. These types of investigations are a team effort. I'd personally like to thank the Guilford County Sheriff's Office CSI Unit, North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation, and U.S. Marshals for their assistance in this matter. As mentioned before, this is an ongoing investigation. We encourage anyone with any information to please contact the Guilford County Sheriff's Office or Greensboro Comstockers. I'm sure as many of you know, this event did occur since it was a loud party at a party, or a loud uh, disturbance call, it was a party. We believe that there were several individuals that may have seen what occurred. We're asking those individuals to come forward with as much information as they possibly can. At this time, I would like to turn it over for a few questions, but please be aware that this is an ongoing investigation, so I cannot discuss intimate details of the actual investigation itself. Yeah, we believe it's Detroit, Michigan. I, I can't get into that. I'm sorry. Uh, at this time, we don't have any information to suggest that. Uh, but again, the investigation is still going. Are you confident that Blanks actually won? As mentioned before, Jeremiah Blanks has been arrested. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, we are looking into that, um, but at this time, he's the only one that's been charged. Uh, there's always a possibility. You never know with these types of investigations. Um, these types of investigations last months at a time. We will co coordinate those efforts with the district attorney's office, and any appropriate charges that uh, need to be filed, we'll, we'll work with them to make that happen. I will confirm that it was an Airbnb at the time. Um, I don't know what the status of that residence is now, um, but at the time of this incident, it was an Airbnb. I don't know if there's um, family members that are with you. Um, just wanted to ask if you're able to share a little bit about um, Mr. Overton. I was talking to some people in the community who truly say he was loved. If they're open to sharing about his legacy. 
that would be up to the family. I'm sorry, what was your question again? Just wanted to ask if you could share a little bit about Mr. Overton, about his legacy. Uh, we've heard the community really pour in their love, and we want to make sure that we're also extending if you guys want to say anything. Yeah, um, the support for Dre, um, even as his parents, uh, we did not realize uh, how loved Dre was until, uh, of course, to turn out for the service. Uh, Dre was truly an outstanding young man. Um, this is really hard for us. So that's all we have to say. Right Any more questions? I, I do want to add clarity just real fast to the Airbnb statement. So at the time, it was an Airbnb, but it was actually a sublease. So the actual owner of the residence was not aware of that at the time. Um, that's something that we are we're, we're dealing with as well as part of the investigation. But again, as mentioned before, it was an Airbnb for the purpose of the party. No further questions? Thank you all so much, okay?